official word on on your title and what group you're going to be coaching. Just I, I know you've coached several different positions, so it's it's something that's not going to be too tough for you. What's your first thoughts on on the tight ends? I'm excited uh, to be able to coach tight ends and um, and uh, coach Morehead's offense. It's uh, the tight ends have a very um, unique uh, responsibility. They have to be blockers and uh, they also have to be receivers and they do a lot of different motions and movements and different things like that. But uh, they, when you go back and look at all the tape, they performed well last year as a unit, as a group. And now you've got, um, you know, most of that group coming back. you got Farad and Dante and, and uh, Combus and Spivey and uh, uh, those guys. So, you know, I look forward to uh, an opportunity of working with those guys and improving them over their play from last year, which was really good at times. I know you're familiar with Farad. Just how much are you going to kind of lean on him for leadership with that group? Well, he should be uh, the leader of the group. You know, he's the older guy, the elder statesman. He's played a lot. He's a fifth-year senior. Um, and uh, so he's kind of grown up in that position. So I'll, I'll be leaning on him heavily. There's a lot of options there. Just as a coach, how excited are you about that, having the opportunity to have so many different options and bodies that you can filter in and out and, uh, a lot of size and athleticism out of that group, too. Well, well, I think that's what Coach Moorhead wants in that position or athletes that can do a lot of different things, a variety of things than just, you know, maybe just be a good blocker or just a good pass receiver. But guys that can do a lot of different things is, is something that he uh, definitely wants in that position. You've been back now, I guess, a couple months. Uh, just for you, how is it? How is it different than the first? Day? Have you meshed well with it, this this staff already? And, and you know, just just your impressions of things after being back for a couple months. Well, it's uh, you know, it's definitely different. Uh, you know, the uh, the organization structure and the uh, the way things are done on a daily basis, uh, the infrastructure, things are a lot different. So it, uh, it's taken some time to adjust, but at the same time, you know, it's it's football and. You know, do what you do best. You know, you work hard. Uh, you're very uh, uh, submissive uh, to to your superior, and uh, you do what you're asked to do and work as hard as you can work. With Cumbus over at baseball, what's your expectations of him in the spring? I know you haven't been able to really see him on the field yet. Do you expect to see him splitting time, or what? What's what's kind of the well? That's the, that's that's the plan. That's what we talked about. You know, uh, early on, and so we'll just. Uh, have to see a day by day basis of how much he actually gets out there and gets a chance to practice. When you accepted the job, did you think tight ends would be the group that you probably would end up with? Uh, at the time, we didn't have any idea. You know, coach just said, you know, at the time that uh, that was where that uh, I would be working for the temporary time when I came in. But uh, as it materialized, that's how how it just kind of ended up. From the two redshirt freshmen. Um, Obviously, a couple of different guys than than y'all had in, in in many ways. What's your thoughts on on Spivey and Cumbus and what they bring to the table as tight ends and what they can add to the off, offense? Well, they've got uh, tremendous size. Uh, they're both excellent athletes, and they have a tremendous upside for being young kids that are that big and athletic. And uh, sometimes you hate to use the word raw, you know, but. Uh, there's some development there, and that's the type of program that we want to be is we want to take two guys like that and develop them into two of the best tight ends in the conference. I know you can't talk specifics, but just how is recruiting going so far, getting back in the state and kind of getting uh, back in the mix with that? Well, it's uh, recruiting is uh, full force in Mississippi. You have a lot more uh, out-of-state uh, schools coming into our state now recruiting the same kids that we recruit which makes it a lot more difficult to, to fight off. So uh, we have to just uh, intensify what we do in order to try to keep the best athletes at home.